<laughs> it's me, the Wriggler, and I'm going to rig all over the place. Tournament community, we heard you loud and clear, and after five months, we here at Adult Swim finally caught this scheming son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright, this is bad. No more goofy shit, let's get serious. Hey everyone, I'm Simon Sion, artist, musician, and general creator of the Fin for a Fish project. You probably already knew that though, and if you didn't, here I am. It's not what I'm here to talk about though. It's been very difficult these last few months trying to find out how to make this announcement. One of my main fears was about the general public perception, but it's definitely been long enough and I feel it's better to get it out now than to never get it out at all. I found out that the last two matches, aka Loser's Round 2 in general, got rigged by somebody. In full honesty, I never really monitored the Fin for a Fish pulls all too heavily, or at least I never saw a reason to. I mean, given the project's nature, I thought nobody would dare to try any rigging of the sort. But after seeing multiple tournaments that had this issue, the most notable being Salt and Diary of Attorney Kid, I went back to check the votes just to make sure. This is going to be tough for me to announce, but to put it shortly, Meme Nova and Stick Figured Crackheads are being disqualified from the project, as their wins prove to be unfair and rigged. Buddy the Elf and LMFAO will continue into the Final Four, as they were the true winners of their matches all along. I know there were a lot of people who were genuine fans of these characters, and I'm really sorry it had to be like this, especially since it's been so long without any major update and whatnot for the project. Meme Nova and Crackheads will get something special eventually to compensate for each of their losses, I don't know what exactly at the moment, but I want to make sure it's satisfying for those who main these characters. And to clarify right now, Ben Furfish isn't going anywhere. It will finish, and I want to show everything that we've had in store for you, even if the voter base ended up being a lot smaller than I thought it was. This news does mean I have to tweak a lot of things that I had planned for the project, so Fin for a Fish may take a little longer to come back than I thought, and I apologize yet again, but I want to make sure that the return is the best quality and way that it can be. There's genuine love and appreciation being put into this project, as silly as it sounds with the name and everything, and I hope that you can see that and stick around. I think that's all I had to clear up. The video with the true results as well as an update post on the SoundCloud will drop eventually. However, right now I am a little tired, so see you all for now.